I think the main advantage of this hospital is that we have multidisciplinary tumor boards. That means that all subspecialties which are involved in oncologic treatments, radiology, radiotherapy, medical oncology, gastroenterology, we all come together um, once a week for each tumor type and then we discuss the cases there and then we, we took the ther therapeutic decision as a team, not as, as only one discipline. What chemotherapy does, it's very simple. Um, it can be used after surgery to decrease the amount of micro disease which, which is left behind after the surgery. This is an hypothesis. And um, if the patient has a mass, a, a mass due to cancer, which cannot be removed by surgery, then we can give chemotherapy to decrease the size of the mass lesion so that it can be operated or sometimes even if it's not operated, even diminishing the size of the tumor may relieve all signs of cancer. That's why, that's, that's why it's used on two purposes, after surgery or before surgery. For all cancers, it does the same. It disturbs with the function of DNA so that tumor cell DNA dies. But it also affects the DNA of normal cells as well. That's why patients have alopecia, nausea, and uh, side effects like this. For all cancers, it does the same. It disturbs with the function of DNA so that tumor cell DNA dies. But it also affects the DNA of normal cells as well. That's why patients have alopecia, nausea, and uh, side effects like this. Chemotherapy is not a very specific therapy. I mean that we don't give chemotherapy because the patient's tumor has such a protein, for example. It can still be considered a non-specific therapy. We have other specific therapies, especially in breast cancer, colon cancer, renal cancer, and these therapies are uh, more specific so that their side effects are less and their effectiveness are, is high. For example, let's say for, a, for breast cancer, if the patient's tumor contains a specific protein called HER2, then we have a drug which blocks this protein uh, and this protein actually leads to ag aggressiveness of this tumor. So that with this drug, we target only that protein, not all cells of the patient. That's why we don't have side effects like alopecia or nausea or other side effects of chemotherapy. There are a lot of them now in the oncology field, but they are expensive <laughs> because they are highly specific but uh, they represent the future vision of oncology, I guess. We are using them in breast cancer, colon cancer, sometimes in lung cancer, uh, gastrointestinal stromal tumors, renal cancer. Uh, in these cancers, we really have um, very nice results with these uh, new type of biologic therapies. We have now very potent anti-emetic medication because nausea and vomiting is one of the undesirable effects of chemotherapy. Uh, but we have new anti-emetic medications. Even with the highly hematogenic chemotherapeutic agents, the patients have less nausea now. For fatigue, actually, we don't have any medication because this usually is relieved by rest, by a regular diet. I mean, people, people with cancer should decrease their daily activities, but that doesn't mean that they should sit or they should lie. They can take a walk for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, but they shouldn't do mo more activities as usual before cancer. Chemotherapies, they are usually administered usually every three weeks, but there are some chemotherapeutic agents that we are giving weekly. Sometimes we give chemotherapy every 14 days. It depends on the agent because these agents decrease your, um, the, the potency of your immune system. When they are uh, white blood cells are normal, we can administer them. We can administer them again. So we have to wait for this cycle, and it depends on the agent how potent in myelosuppression. <laughs>